Welcome, Welcome back to the Charles Owen Experience. Do not demonetize us, please. Yep. Please do not. No. In the top right hand corner, click do not demonetize. Please. Remember, like, subscribe, YouTube, Spotify. You guys have done well, but we need to get to a thousand ratings on Spotify. Charles will only be allowed into Miami. I won't be like, it's hard to get <laughs> visa, visa ship into the United States. If, if you're listening have... to this and you want to help Charles Allen Price obtain a visa to the United States, subscribe. Subscribe and send me a DM immediately. Because that's what they look for most of the looks, time. It looks, yeah, DMs. They look for the DMs. Yeah, if you can get a good like, set of DMs. It looks like it's going to be an expensive procedure, but if you can yeah. help, then let's make it happen. Good set of DMs saying good luck with your move. And like most of the time, they just let you. They let you go. Yeah, they let Is you that? go. Yeah, if you have enough support from fam family yeah. and friends. Good luck. With, I hope it all goes well. Yeah. What, oh, that's 15 messages? Or like, if you just send a message asking what's going to happen to the podcast when Charles uproots his life and <laughs> moves. It just sabotages his entire life. God, he just <laughs> kills himself. Then, yeah, the podcast would end probably. Yeah. Or we could meet up once a week to do a podcast. Similar to now. Yeah bit more distance but longer we could meet go. in the cayman islands we could we meet could, halfway yeah, yeah the cayman islands or is it hawaii hawaii yeah hawaii huawei huawei yeah Man, that's the wrong way isn't it though it's good to see you huawei is even further is it not hawaii is a phone brand oh hawaii Huawei Hawaii is even further away for you yeah yeah it's even for cayman islands would be the one for us <laughs> <laughs> oh demonetized Beep that out. Beep it, yeah. I would prefer not to be associated with anything that could become a come across <laughs> as, as homosexual. homosexual, phobic. Oh, homosexual or well, phobic. Why is that? Uh, it just is not it puts a sour taste in your mouth. A yeah, it's a salty taste in your mouth. Is <laughs> salty <it>? taste. <laughs> what is that? It puts a Homophobia. Salty taste in my mouth. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah. And other than that, oh, other than that, oh, uh, Wait, okay? I've just been really enjoying the YouTube, the Los Banditos. Maybe the greatest thing I, that was actually quite enough. Uh, maybe the greatest thing I've ever watched. Talk us through what happened. What is so it? What have you been watching? Charles and Frederico. Daddy uh, Freddy Stress. Daddy Freddy Stress, the most viewed archer of all time. Archer. Yeah. He also does jiu-jitsu and he had a death match with Char. Six minutes, I beat Jeff. No heel hooks, which I wasn't too happy about because I thought, well, why are there no heel hooks? But anyway. It's just that's going to be a, the rule set for it our was Masters two, one match. Two points to Freddie at first, but Charles came back with a last minute three pointer from outside the box and he held Frederico down and he dunked on him basically for three and that's how he won go check out the los banditos page check it out watch the whole thing it's just an excellent it's a good video <laughs> you can tell there weren't many people there uh faris is doing a great job instigating yeah it was beautiful it's basically me just <laughs> freddie and faris occasionally jumping in f***ing us both up and we had a great time overall the whole week the whole week has been death matches every single time i go on with Fred i like Baker. it really yeah. enjoyed watching yeah, my arm's a bit sore. I can't bend this arm at the moment. You got injured. I, nah, it's, this is pre... Look, I can't even bend it. It's got bursitis on the elbow and it's stopping my elbow from bending. Every time I go to the physio, he does it. He helps the, it out. It gets stretched. It gets straightened and then it goes back. As in you I, can't bend it? You can't straighten it? I can't straighten it. They got to straighten it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the BCP 157 tomorrow and the TB500. Banned by water. I need to get that to go down because it's swollen, isn't it? But I still lifted weights today, but it's not on this hand. Ooh. What I did, this the viewers were like this. Ooh. I couldn't bend and extend this arm. But I was like, all right, what am I going to do? I'm going to do some bench. I'm still going to do my bench press. I'm going to hold a weight in one hand. I chose 30 kilos. Got fellas to help me. Or you could just you know, do it yourself. Much lighter in this hand. Got 47 and a half on the other hand. Still did my bench press. Uh, and then did the same for alternating dumbbell pressing above the head. Have 12 in this hand, 25 or 30 kg. In the opposite hand, still working away. And that is fine to do for short periods of time whilst you are injured to continue training and continue getting a good workout in. So what do you think is wrong with it specifically? I've got, burst, I've got bursitis. And what's, what happened was <laughs> this 
because this arm is doesn't turn at the best of times, as you know. Is that is that this the range? is the arm? Yeah, the, you can't do this. You nah, can't do nah, because I because I broke it when I was a kid and it doesn't pronate or supinate properly. And what's happened is I've got swelling around the radial ulna, tib fib, and it's it's causing. Did the, you just say the radial ulna? Radial ulna, yeah, radius ulna. That's the radius. <laughs> that That's the, the ulna. Yeah, they they cross over here, don't they? All right. Fucking All right, man. Sorry, radial nerve. Beat that. Fuck. Beat radial, Fuck. radial Fuck. ulnar nerve. Yeah, you ever heard of that? Oh, the nerve, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. radial ulnar nerve. And it's 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 jammed up on the, the joint oh, in there. that's awful. Which is causing... But at least you didn't get infected, eh? They no, always, do you remember that, fam? They always get infected, don't they? Well, the do you remember that? Is... And then Crispy foot swept me. And then I had, remember I had that big... We trained on the Christmas day or New Year's Eve day. <laughs> do you remember that? No. Nah. Well, upstairs in the thing. And yeah. I had that big burst on my elbow. Crispy yeah. foot swept me. And I fell on it. That popped and it went down. <laughs> Do you remember that? No, nah, not really. But that was yeah. a great time. I'm sure it happened. It did happen, yeah. Fuck, All right, come man, on, give us an update. What? Awful. Oh, should we finish there? Awful. No, just let's carry on then. It's okay. We can we can beep out that whole bit that was so awful. Do you want any water? Do you want the rest of this water? No, I've actually, no, we no, went no. to a lovely jerk and uh, went to a lovely West Indian establishment. <laughs> I uh, managed to eat a lot of food and yeah. What was it, what was it called? Uh, actually, was it on P Harrow Road? It was on, no, it was near Shepherd's Bush Station. Sorry, Labrick Grove Station. Of it was, you know yeah. that little underpass bit? Was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jerk, it was it Jerk? Yeah, I know the one. It's near the Portobello Road, yeah? Yeah, it's near Portobello Road, but it wasn't on Portobello Road. It was, it was right. near Labrick Grove. It was on Labrick Grove? Yeah, yeah, Labrick Grove. It was on Labrick Grove. What's it called then? It's, uh, on, it's underneath that little pass there, yeah? Yeah. Caribbean Restaurant? Yeah. It's opposite some Filipino place called something Soul Food. I you know the I, bridge, yeah? I Labrador think I know Grove the one, yeah. It's bridge. on the same side as the Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's is here, just there, yeah? No, it's the opposite side to the Sainsbury's. Right. Right, I'm going to ride past it later. Have a look at it. Anyway, yeah. was it good? It was pretty good, yeah. Fair play. We got the oxtail, oxtail, and we got some fried chicken. Right. And the fried chicken was pretty delicious, to be fair. And the men there started arguing. He was like... In my name, Jamal. So don't fucking tell me what to do then. Oh, Talking to the, the man behind the thing. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, Is this a customer? I'm trying to the fucking guy. serve these customers right here. <laughs> I'm fucking serving them, yeah? So don't fucking <laughs> chat to me. And we were just looking at him. He's like, Sorry. And we're like, It's okay. And we're like, Sorry. Bomba cloud. Like, just chat to me, whatever. And he just kept going, Sorry, sorry. Yeah, like, sorry about that. Yeah. But he wasn't sorry. <laughs> I was trying to make light of it. Like, yeah, it's stressful in the kitchen. I'm not stressful in the kitchen. Bust. Oh, busting <laughs> out here, man. <laughs> Fuck he was off, Bomb. Really God. having a moment there. He wow. wasn't happy with himself. God. Mate, what are you doing? God, Billy Gates. I'm, I'm really. Who is it? Come really on. busy. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Read him out. What's it? Oh. Go on. Oh. Uh, okay, it's a message from Bill Gates. It says. Just beef with his manager over him doing the tournament, lol. Uh, I won't give any context. Mate, put this away. Come on, fuck off, mate. Fuck you, off. Yo, I do you I look like know. Jamal to you? It was <laughs> just constantly arguing and then like going back to the argument and then apologizing, then back to the argument and apologizing. And just really loud, swear, like, <laughs> just not a good business relationship. The food was good. The food was good, yeah. Yeah. Fair play. Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> something smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, what went else to, have you been there? Went to been? Malacca. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's in the south of Spain. Uh, it's Ibiza, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's an island, right? It's not an island. Malacca. It's on the south coast, Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol. It's the most English part of the world, including England. What's the island up from Ibiza? I don't know. Malaga. It ain't Malaga. It is. Continue, sorry. I'll figure this out. You go. No, come, come yeah, on. Fuck I don't know islands, you. mate. No, I don't know islands. You. Continue. Okay. Anyway, we did a triple threat summer camp. If you're wondering what triple threat means, it means that there's like three of us and it's sort of a pun and it's also... Mallorca. It's Mallorca. It's Mallorca. It's Mallorca. Oh, Mallorca, yeah? Yeah. Uh, sorry, go It's on. also alliterative, so that's why it's funny and works so so well. <laughs> pop, pop. Uh, pop, pop. It was really good, man. I really like Spain. 
Yeah, just, you, yeah, delicious food, delicious people. We tried some of the people, delicious and salty. Really, <laughs> uh, good sun, good sea. I don't like the sea because you know, you gotta take your shoes off and that. Yeah. yeah, and what swimming is a is a feminine trait. Where are you going? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, what's the point? Why have you got water on your body? Yeah, well, bit. Sus, mate. Bit of ram, isn't it? Yeah. What I'm saying. Nah, anyway, that's fair yeah. play. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't nah. it? Yeah. Why well, would do you I look like Jamal to you, eh? Why do you need sand between your toes as a man? Sorry, as a man. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Like, yeah, it's just a bit sus, mate. You can do it in your own time, you but don't, don't invite like, me to the beach. You don't like the beach at all? I don't like doing nothing. Yeah, but you and get I it. don't like getting sand in my vagina. Do you understand? I get that, but like, let's say, okay, let's go for a dip. Let's go, like, so let's say we're jumping off like some rocks. Let's say there's no sand. We're jumping off some rocks into the water. Have a little dip. Get in, get out. You're there for half an hour. How's that? Fine, perfect. That's what I'm about. That's all I like yeah, yeah. though. But for me, the beach has been turned into this long excursion where you have to stay at the beach for a large amount of time. Oh, you've, you're and right. be at the beach, and you know what is the beach if not just tanning? Or some game on the sand, which has nothing to do with the water or the sun. Yeah. You know, the three things never quite align. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be in the sea and not get sunburnt and not get sand in your vagina. You can't just go on the sand without getting sunburnt and also missing out on the, on the sun, on the water. And also, you may yeah, as well just no. not be on the beach. Do I look like Jamal? And that? if you're yeah, just there to sand, no. suntan, cool, but why go to the beach? Because the sun's just as strong anywhere else. Yeah. You want to just get in, get out, mate. Yeah. Like what we it's, do just, it's just been ruined for you. This is what I would do. This is, let's say I'm in the greatest country in the world. Yeah. United States of America. Uh, Afghanistan, <laughs> go on. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Sierra Leone. September 11 yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking on the way in. I was like, wow, it's the 12th of September. Yeah, you missed it, man. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. Right. We Make had a cake off. and everything. We had a cake yeah. and everything. Did you? Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, well, we... Yeah, okay. One of them just sort of fell over on her own. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> No, no reason. It just sort of collapsed. Yeah, Fucking steel weird. structure wasn't quite there, was yeah, it? Yeah, well, I went for anyway. This is what I do. If I go to the beach in Australia or Miami, my favorite place in the world, I'm gonna get into the water. I'm gonna go to the beach, show up, go to the sand, get in for a swim, stand out for maybe five to ten minutes, get in for another swim, and then I fucking leave. Yeah. That's oh, when you do. say swim, do you dip your head under? Yeah, I'm going out. I'm gonna swim out a little bit. Maybe, you know, 10, 15 Calm meters. waters? Huh? Calm waters? Uh, no, nah, I like a bit of waves. I'm not a super strong ocean swimmer. That's something I definitely want to get into. I'm not the strong... Some of my mates who are very strong ocean swimmers, mate, they'll swim like 20, 50 meters out. I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not going that far. No. That's not that far. F from when your feet are in to like 50 meters plus out and you get past the waves and that, you got to be a pretty good swimmer because there's rips and currents and stuff. Maybe I'm underestimating know. 50 meters. That's two lengths. You are, yeah. Mate, that's like, you you're not, you ain't touching the water anymore. Fam. Yeah, that's two lengths, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's all right. I've swum that before. But in calmer water. Yeah, like, med Mediterranean Sea is fine. Yeah, okay, Mediterranean, yeah. Mediterranean Sea, the there's the giant no, yeah, In the mud. Sorry, yeah. Off not, uncle's boats. Yeah. Uh, no, we usually yeah. get the jet skis out, and the jet skis will come. Yeah, yeah. normally we'll get... Philip will get the, the tender, <laughs> and he'll come pick us up after. Huh? Yeah, we know who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this has been an outrageous <laughs> one. Ah, you okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, I had pneumonia, guys. That was cool. So apparently I have asthma every autumn, summer autumn conversion. Gosh, and I literally don't want to wear that, mate. And uh uh and yeah, and I got pneumonia and I don't think it's the first time and I was fucking dying, mate. Genuinely on my way to death. But then I was saved by my asthma inhaler. Really good. Uh, one more time. Uh, show me that again. So I just bought the uh, three Keep Jiu Jitsu Gay um, rash guards for me, you, and Krusty. And we're going to wear them. ADCC Kuwait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> He's competing. Right. We've actually had, the fans are going to love this. They've requested this for a while. We've had 15 minutes of absolute shooting the shit, haven't we? Is that what they asked for? 
Yeah, they just said, you know, just shoot the shit a little bit. That's what they listen for, shooting the right. shit. We'll shooting, put the phone down then. Shooting the shit. We'll continue shooting shit. Uh, oh, okay. Let me tell you something. In Spain, there is a weed house thing and there is a cat in it. They have a cat that is indoors all the time and it is the highest looking cat you'll ever see. <laughs> it is like retarded. Its eyes just look, you know, like when they've got like crust on the inside of their eyes. It's got imagine, sleep. Imagine, yeah. Imagine you ate an edible, woke up, ate another edible. <laughs> <laughs> Slept again. Yeah, and, and, just, and those are your eyes when you wake up. That's what the cat looks like. Like proper, proper fuck. Did you pet it? I, it petted me. It oh, came up yeah. and rubbed its head on my leg. Got the crust. I the nutted yeah. instantly almost. And oh, then I sorry. left it alone. Really excellent time though. Uh, what else? Did you train with Santeris out there? Uh, I did do one flow around with him, but again, I had pneumonia, so most of the rounds I couldn't do, and I didn't want to ask anyone whose job it is to do jiu-jitsu in case I'd infect them. Did you, did you, round, did you roll with Silvio? I hope I'm pronouncing it I correctly. did not. I did do one, actually, two-minute round wrestling. That was good. I rolled with Max one round. Uh, and yeah, I just rolled with all the other people there. Tried to roll with everyone once, but didn't manage in the end. Right. It was an excellent time. Uh, it was the best of times. It, it was, was the, the blurst of times. Of times. <laughs> it was the blessed of times. It was the, it was the blurst of times. times. You know how they say. Right. Um, uh, okay. I was going to do a thing in Iceland, but... Is that happening? With John it's, Jones? It's happening a bit later, yeah. What's the date? Well, it was going to be October, but now it's going to be a bit later. Basically, apparently the culture in Iceland is that they don't really plan for months in advance. They just like... Oh, there's a seminar in a couple of days. You're going to go? Let's see. Sure. That kind of vibe. No one's like, oh my God, what are you doing in a month? Like, That's pretty annoying to book flights because the flights to Iceland aren't particularly cheap, are they? Are they not? How much are they? I don't know. I just assumed they'd be not too cheap. I assume no one really goes there, so they might Accommodation, be Accommodation, etc. It's an expensive place once you're there. Yeah, yeah really. You know? I can see that. Really, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Really. But I mean... <laughs> Mjolnir, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a big gym, right, with a lot of folks. Yeah. I mean, well, John Jones trains us, so that's pretty good. Jon Jones. Lots of good memes with Dana White talking about John Jones, the greatest fighter to ever live. You've seen them. They're fantastic. I've seen the ones of uh, Seaman being like, I can't wait to hit the egg, and they're like, we're in Dana White's mouth. <laughs> Right, let's get into the first question. This is going to be very appropriate. Why does O'Flanagan always wear workout and trousers? Uh, so that the deadlifts don't scrape my shins. What else? That's it. I wear trousers around London because it's cold all the time. Uh, I wear joggers rather than jeans because I'm a fucking road man. And just in case I need to jump over some fences, the jeans don't really allow for good... Stretch. Yeah, stretching. Fair uh also i mean yeah just the general comfort i don't know why joggers are replaced with jeans maybe just for robustness but i don't believe that in most urban scenarios a jeans are required shout building a robust body that allows you to train harder and for longer ferrari uh oh and i have all your instructionals and i'm still oh oh and sorry and i'm still dog shit come to australia don't say this is two part this is the second part of the question don't say it's too long of the flight, Owen. You have a steam deck, brother. Are you, okay, let brother? me reply. It's from Charlie, um, my Charlie steam, O'Flanagan. My steam deck is gone. Okay. What happened to it? BA are not giving me back my steam deck, but they're going to refund me for it. Someone stole it. Some cleaner stole my fucking steam deck. The, 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 right. the, why would you leave it on the flight, man? What do you mean, why? It was forgotten. Mate, I, I was there for three that. hours. It was forgotten on the seat. I leave the flight. I'm oh. like, let me go back on the flight. They're like, no, there's security and the flight's shut. And I'm like, what do you mean the flight's shut? Cool, so all my stuff's on the flight then. Yeah, for sure it's on the flight. I go once, three days later I return, a month later I return, it's still not there. Some fucking pricks just stolen my shit and thought that I wouldn't. Bro, I am snitching to the feds straight away when someone steals my Steam Deck. So I snitch to the feds and I will get my money back. And if not, I'm gonna hunt down some cleaners and just harass them. Kill them, man. I will just harass. There will be no actual threats. All right. Uh, should I do static holds of a weight on an extended arm? I heard it's good for stability. Mm, stability. 
Uh, it makes no difference to stability. Building strength through full range is what's going to get you strong around the joint and the muscles around the joint. That's how you get stronger. Like an iron cross, eh? Similar. Yeah, with an extended arm. I mean, that would be you fucking strong, but the process of getting to... If you, if, let's say me and you, we want to do an iron cross, it would take us like four or five years to do. We'd go on a dip machine and just... It'd take us four it or five years Progressively. To do. It'd take us a long time. To build the tendon ligament strength in the, in the pack without tearing the pack? Yeah, we're probably years. well set to get there fast, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I was training with this gym, gym... On the dip machine, you just, you just assisted iron Mate, cross. I'm fucking telling you, I was training with an Olympic uh, gymnast, and yeah. I was like, how long is this going to take me? I train gymnastics three times a week. He goes, mate, it's going to take you at least four years to do. And I said... That's but that's your body type specifically as well, I'd say. Yeah. Like if you were a tiny... If you're sm way smaller and lighter, yeah, it could take you a lot faster, but you've got to be training specifically for and that. And you're only training three times a week. Gymnastics, yeah. As an adult, as an adult, as an adult, as an adult. As a child, a lot faster. Yeah, but yeah, as an adult, I think if you didn't, if you just practiced an Gymnastics. assisted Iron Cross every day, you could do it within a year. Two yeah. years. One, yeah, one to two years, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's all you have to do there. You get on the dip machine... You get the really wide handles and then you try to press yourself up <laughs> over and over and over again. That is what we do here. What I think this geese is talking about is like, let's say we're just holding a bench press and he's like, yeah. oh yeah, or whatever, or like dumbbells. What I like yeah. to do is alternating dumbbell bench where you're holding it from the top. Is it improving your stability? No, it's not doing stability, but it's just improving a little bit more time under tension. What improves overall stability of your muscles and your joints? I feel is like just that gets harmful pretty quickly, doesn't it? It just hurts after just a while. Just holding things that, if you're doing bicep curls, holding it right at the end of the range of motion is probably not healthy for your tendons, right? If you just hold it there and then you work from... Yeah, shit. If you're just yeah. working that little half range. Yeah, just work, work, look, work through everything to its full, full range of motion. Isometrics are useful, particularly for tendon health. If you've had an injury, check out Jake Tura. He is going to explain all of that much more eloquently than you or I could ever could. Don't be fucking rude. Mostly me. Fuck. He, mostly me. Um, but if out. you're lifting weights, don't worry about, oh, how am I going to improve stability? Just get stronger through full range of motion. And that's it, my friend. That's it. Mental stability? You got to buy a Ferrari, to be fair, for that. You don't get one without the other. Um, what's the best? Here we go from our friend he's gonna love that i've named him for this one as well what's the best masking agent today to beat doping tests <laughs> <laughs> we'll beat part his name um, we don't know we don't know i don't know do you i wish i did clomid, I wouldn't fail, clomid seems so. to be the one doesn't it yeah, yeah. clomiphene clomiphene what does it do I don't know. I think it's when Eastern you come off test, right? right? Yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah. yeah. Come off test so you don't get titties, you get on clomiphene, yeah. clomiphene, I wish whatever. I knew more about the topic, but I don't. Uh, I know nothing about it. Uh, I could never. Seriously, though. You're a fucking juice head. <laughs> <laughs> you stink of juice. No, seriously, we don't know. We don't know. What do you want? You want a question? No, no, I was just pointing to what we don't know. Right, okay. Oh, that's a good question for you. What happened to that squads tournament in Asia? Round two, when? Are you talking about Aigla? Yeah, Aigla is going to be in March next year. It's going to be in Kazakhstan, Almaty. I hope I'm not saying it correctly. And yeah, the team's going to be sick. It's Euro trash. We're here to, you know, not win, but put in a good showing. Sorry, man. I wasn't listening to a word that you just said. It's amazing. I was just thinking about the next question. How much I'm going to fucking... Yeah, just really love it. Is Rubber Guard dead? It is dead. Why? It's just dead. All right. It's, uh, it's hard to get to close guard. There's no off balance available in Rubber Guard. You know? It's a game where it's like... You can't force any reactions... You can only wait for your partner to make a mistake and stall. I think for MMA, though, when there's elbows and stuff, it has value. But I don't think that the posture control apparently given by a rubber guard is actually real. That's what I'd say. Like A high closed guard is much more effective than a rubber guard. There are times, however, see that guy? Who's the super lanky, tall Indian fella? Bobby. 
Bobby, Bobby Sandu, bro. Man. Shout out Bobby. We like that guy. Look how long his shins are. He could definitely lock a dead orchard over your shoulders, no problem, and get you with it. So I don't know if you want to call that rubber guard or temp planet, but there are some things that would definitely be effective. Like when you lock a triangle over both shoulders, brother, you're going to armbar them like 100%. So if you can do that, then rubber guards fucking see it. But, or if you're like Richie Martinez and your knee just has, your one knee just has a particularly high level of flexibility where you can be in a half guard and a rubber guard at the same time, then cool. But most of the time, you're not that and you're going to injure yourself before you get to it. I would recommend people, you see doing people other jiu jitsu. Trying yeah. to just get down there. I pop my own LCL just doing that I as well. That. Yeah. Sandro, shout out. What are you saying about the Juni lock? You like it? Uh, I don't use it enough and I don't like it i would say i'm a bit suspect that there is a large degree of mutual exposure but i understand that obviously once you get your own knee safe you know then it's good isn't it i think it's good i just think i haven't seen enough of it to give a proper opinion i used it for a, a stint there was definitely a time that i was using it to counter mm. but now i don't like rolling away from outside heel hooks if i can help it i'll always turn into it how would you defend against a genie lock? I would toe point and point my knee down, cross my legs. If you actually get caught in it, it's pretty final. It's final. You can try to peel the leg out, but you kind of you kind of trapped yourself in there, you know. Once it's deep, it's deep. It's one of those. It's just really on. Really. Oh, it's so on. But I think you just got to be aware of it because obviously it can come on if you're not ready, but I think if you're ready for it, it's one of those that it's just a small direction change of your knee and then you're back it's in the driver's done. seat. Dawn. Yeah, oh, it's you're back dawn. in the driver's, seat, in the driver's seat. Yeah, yeah. Right, if you right, just right, avoid right, it, right. you're back in the driver's seat. But Shout I think like anything, like any of the legs, you know, it's like, e.g. the corkscrew thing. Normally I would say it's shit, but there are scenarios where it's not shit when it hurts. And those are the scenarios you want to look for. So I think being aware of all the moves is good, but... Uh, giving too much credence to one specific move or counter is folly. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. White belt's Bleep focusing that. on leg locks. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Honestly, because... Let's, let's go listen to a previous podcast. Girl. It's the beginning, like, it's guard, isn't it? You, you've got to commend a white belt for doing any guard because at least you're using your legs to some extent. Like, if you're a white belt, you're probably just using your hands, probably wrestling up, lots of head butts, maybe... So a lot of what people don't want to use their head in jiu -jitsu. I remember just thinking like, I know it's wrong, but I'm just not going to put my face right next to some, some geezer's face. That was back in the gi days. But now I realize it's all about just getting your head right in there. Mm. So we're saying leg locks are great for white bouts? I think they are, yeah. I think it's good. It's a good way to start getting subs on people and start believing in jiu -jitsu. And also you learn guard, you learn the idea of inside position. And, you know, what's wrong with a straight foot lock? Nothing wrong with that. What else are you going to do from guard? You're either going to sweep them with some caught you out kind of sweep. You're either going to enter the legs, break them down to a hip and sweep them. Or you're going to wrestle up, break them down to a hip. Or if they're on their knees, then maybe you can drag them and get to the back or whatever. But basically, if you don't have leg locks, you're shit. You won't get to the legs. Yeah. Finish the match. You won't, yeah. Or you won't double leg them or anything. You're just, you're just shit. What an eloquent answer. Eloquent. Eloquente. Mm. Eloquente, oh, por favor. Right. Why are people so obsessed with functional training and why traditional lifting is better? Better. Right. Better. better. Functional training. I guess he's talking about the, you know, it looks like jujitsu. Let's do a bit of this. This is good for stability. This is like sport specific. I guess people get attracted to it because you look at it and you, you a person would be like, oh, that kind of looks like. The, what we do at jiu-jitsu, this will work. What you need to understand is that even if you're lifting weights, it's not going to have a direct correspondence to jiu-jitsu. What happens is as you get stronger and you're lifting weights, you're doing plyos, you're moving well in the gym, you're, you're you know, uh, lifting heavy shit, that requires high motor, motor units, so that means you're improving your rate of force, your, your ability to produce force, getting much stronger. By being stronger, 
it's going to make you more resilient to injury and more robust, which allows you to train harder and for longer on the mats. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be better at a specific skill because you need to improve your skills at jiu-jitsu to get better at jiu-jitsu. How would you yeah. say since you started lifting weights and getting stronger, how has that had the positive effect on your yeah, training? You get more goes. That's what I always say. You're less each bit of energy expended is either more successful if you use more energy or if you use the same amount of energy as if you're weak, you get more attempts at it. Like you can be shit, tur, and get away with it because you just get more goes because you get less tired per Head. Or you win some battles that you might otherwise lose because of your strength advantage. Yeah. And by doing like wasting time, you know, shoot, whether it's, and I put up a post this week of that Williamson guy, whatever his name is, he's shooting double legs at a dip bar. That is an absolute waste of time to do in the gym or putting a band around your head and then pushing a punching bag. It's an absolute waste of time. You're better off just doing, getting better at wrestling to do that. And when you're in the gym, just do things that are really hard to do. Get good at, get a really good deadlift, get a really good squat, get really good at single legs, get really good at jumping, producing force up from the floor and moving in a forward direction. Get really strong arms, get really strong back. That is going to improve your general strength capacities, which is going to have positive adaptations to your time to train better on the mats. And that is exactly what lifting weights does and it's also very good for your joint tendon bone and ligament health which makes you more resilient to injury potentially decreasing your chance of getting inju injured potentially and if you do get injured it's going to help you get back to the sport faster because you're going to be in a stronger position <laughs> than you were if you were weak and that's how lifting helps you so good Right. All right. All so right. All excellent. right. Oh, here's a good question for you. When was the last time you did you lined up and did shrimps or hip escapes? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, that was for you, champ. The last time I did hip escapes. Right. Okay. Um, when I've is just, the? I've what, never done. Hip what escape. is your um, tr current training schedule look like? Training in the morning, training in the evening. I'm actually going to change that now, though. So I'm going to do... Let's run through this, fam. Right? Let's run through this. So up to now, and including today, it would be Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. training until about 1. And then in the evening, we'll do 6.15 to 9.15 training. So that's about five areas of math time a day. And in between, there'll be something either weights or teaching a PT or just doing nothing. Easy. Yeah. And... Eating basically, yeah. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach in the evening, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Monday, Friday evenings I will take off because most of the time I have seminars, etc., and I need a rest day. I basically need to rest more or else I'm going to die. A fucking lung cancer, mate. Unless you get on steroids anyway, you to rest as much. Yeah. Or I have to get juicy, which I CBA to do. Also, juicing is cringe. You're trying too hard. It's gay. Relax. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just gay. Relax, relax. Like you're trying too hard. It's it's just a really sad sport to juice in, considering. I mean, I know it's allowed, but it's also like such a minor niche sport that it's not even <laughs> worth juicing. You know, it's kind of sad. It's like juicing to win Monopoly with your family. Just relax, fam. No one gives a shit. What do you think of people who juice for festivals? Festivals? Yeah, people who want to get, get on juice so they can like look super jacked and shredded for music festivals. Really? That's a thing. That's a well, niche. I get it. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Well, yeah, of course, go for it. I mean, that's it's obviously a drug-free zone in that <laughs> drug, <laughs> drugs are encouraged and allowed. <laughs> like, if <That's> people, <laughs> people are, you know, Perfect if answer. people are doing Perfect coke answer. and that, you're more than welcome to do a bit of trend. Get on the trend. I don't think anyone can take the moral high ground there. No. Like, to be fair, I was high for CJI, so technically I was juicing, but... It's 
Hey, fucking cringe, Lord. <laughs> oh, that's uh, it's, no, it's the opposite. Uh, no, no, cringe would no, be taking it seriously. So cringe. cringe would be taking it seriously. Oh, man. Cringe would be uh. if I didn't smoke and I was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking win. Like, watch God. me wipe out the competition. That's gay, bro. Just relax. Uh. What's cool is just like, yo, mate, have you got uh, anything whoa, on whoa, later? Whoa, 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 you homophobe, uh, man. I've got, a, I've got a competition. Yeah, it's for a million. What should we do? Let's just chill and do exactly what we normally yeah, do. Cool, hilarious. cool, cool. Let's do that. Just no credence to the actual gravity of the event. You actually and won $75 on that day, to be fair. Did I? Yeah, Blackjack, Christian won it. Oh, yeah, Christian sorry. Won Christian won it for me. Yeah. yeah, Christian almost lost his yacht, but then he gained back two yachts in a day. It was fucking it sick seeing him on the table. Uh, he was counting cards as well. I think they only played with eight decks, so he said it was pretty easy this time. It was insane watching him, honestly. What a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Someone had a heart attack on the table opposite and he gave him CPR. He, that t was huge. And open heart surgery. Turns the out spot. the guy was just asleep. Yeah. It was insane. Like what a time to be alive in That's the wind cringe. casino. That was not cringe actually. That was not cringe. No, that was pretty cool actually. That was really heroic. Uh, yeah. Right, 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 right. So, so the initial cringe. question though. Oh, what was the initial question? Oh yeah, drugs at a festival. Yeah, completely fine if you want to look good at a festival. But just be aware that... <laughs> Women more and more are knowing the signs of a juice head. They don't like that. They will know if your shoulders are growing out of your shoulders, like an extra set of shoulders, like you're juicing. If, you're, if you've got gyno, they see it. They see that your nipples are hanging. They don't say it's a dad bod. They, they know that you- They don't you, tend to like you done, that too much. You should have done a cycle off cycle. Right, best core exercises to do at home with no equipment. Um, mate, you're better off just going to the gym, boss. Just get to the gym. And just add the core exercises into the gym. You can That's do same. But jack knives. Yeah. You could do my lower back routine, which is on YouTube. I'll, I'll post to that. Oh. You can do some dead bugs. You can do some bird dogs. You could do some side planks rotation. You could do some side plank bends. You could do some hold something heavy in your hand. Do some dumbbell Brother, supine a, rotations. A two minute plank. You're done. <laughs> it's no, 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 no. It wants to be active and dynamic. You want to move the spine through space, not a nice symmetric hold. God, don't you know anything? It's fucking hard though, two minute plank. Yeah, but no, no, go, <laughs> no. I would say uh, do a side plank bend, you put your feet up on the bench or the bed and just drop the hips down. You can Google YouTube search side plank bend on my YouTube uh, side plank rotation. A dumbbell supine rotation. Do a thousand crunches. Um, and then some lateral flexion. Yeah, do a thousand crunches. There you go. Right. I actually did a thousand crunches once. How, that was be fucking hard, yeah. It wasn't hard. Honestly, mate, it wasn't fucking hard. Because your abs are still I, yeah, Thank you. I can stop talking about it now. Thanks. God. Wow. Okay, uh, I don't actually have any questions, but I- I sent them all to you, boss. I do actually have an Instagram as well, and- uh just reading your DMs, then. And I- <laughs> look, literally just look, reading your DMs. Look, look oh, at my Instagram. Oh, look. You oh, some money. Oh, look, I've been, I've been sent some money from Square. Right, right. Um, uh, pliers, let's look at your phone. Pliers instead. aside, does having bigger glutes help with explosiveness? Uh, well, having a big ass, generally speaking- Especially if you're a male. Explosive <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> if you got a big ass, usually speaking, that means you could be a good jumper or a good sprinter. But it's not the telltale sign, sign of being athletic. A sprinter, would you say? Yeah, yeah, big, yeah. Big fucking a short, glutes, A short, a 40-yarder, yeah. Yeah, big yeah. powerful glutes. Big powerful glutes means you could go upwards, you could go there, and you can squat nice and heavy. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Um but as a, I mean, just, I mean when you just, have a big ass, you tend not to have long legs. Yeah. Some it's rare to have a big ass and long legs. Yeah. But if you do, then you'll probably get it. If you got a big ass and you got long legs, you'll be a fucking good sprinter. Yeah. Usually speaking. But if you have short legs and a big ass, you probably got to do even short length the, the sprints. The thing is, no, if, you, if you're standing on the ground right mm. now, you know if you're explosive or not. So you know, already know the answer to the question. So I'm up. explosive. Yeah, you, to be fair, you actually are. You can jump, I could you be. Can jump really well. I can fucking jump. I'm just, just Dude, don't like just, it. Just, just don't cringe. like him. It's too cringe. Yeah. Too cringe. It's just sad. It's just sad. It's cringe. I could dunk, but I don't. That's cringe, obviously. It's cringe. Like, what? It is cringe. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Relax, man. Just do sit, wank. Just, just wank. Just be at home and wank like everyone else. Yeah. Just have a bowl of cornflakes. You don't have to have eggs and avocado every day. Just wank. Yeah. Just wank. Just send me your cum in the mail. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. That's I'm, not cringe. It, that's that ain't cringe. No. Nah, that's like that's, original at least. Yeah, yeah. Right. Squat variations when dealing with lower back injuries. I don't know. I need to know the severity of the lower back, but you're probably better off swapping to a front squat variation. If you have a holy belt squat, obviously the belt squat's the best because it places no axle loading on the back. We should use a board and like James Smith and give sarcastic answers sometimes. I think that would be we good. Could board over there. We could use the board and just I hate that, but angle I don't over. Know, his fans seem to love it, but I don't. I, I don't I'm like his starting videos. to like it now that I've seen him out and about. I understand that he is tired. He he's is tired, tired yeah, he's of tired. all the stupid shit. He's sick of him. You can tell he's so done with, he's done with, with fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, your squat variations, mate. You may be better off squ swapping to a front-loaded variation. It means like a zercher or a front squat. Uh, it's going to have less axle loading on the spine, whereas the back squat's a little bit more. Talk impressive. me through that, because honestly, right, if right. you hold something here, you're, you're here, the angle is larger than if you're holding it on your back. Yeah, but because it's directly pinned on your back, it's going to have a, a greater... It will bit, compress, yeah, but the actual compression. lower back won't be as flexed as if you were holding it in front. Yeah, but it's not as compressive. Even though, even though, like, let's say, because you're in a front squat, you're able to stay more upright. Yeah. Yeah. While it's going to be more load on the upper back, but it's not as compressive to your spine. It's like, it's going to be hitting your muscular, like, infrastructure. You're talking about front squat now or back squat? Front squat. Okay, so front squat, you're less... Upright. Yeah. Okay, you're no, more no, no, upright. Front sorry, front, front you're more variations. Upright. You're more upright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. agreed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas it's sorry, on your yeah. back, it's more compressive. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. But, but then I feel like I'm lean. I'm getting pulled forward. That's more. more muscular versus being compressive on the discs. It's still compress. It's obviously still compressive on the discs, but your core has to work harder to keep you up more upright, and it's going to be more uh, fatiguing on the upper. Would back you say that the spread of tension is more focused on the lower back rather than just a simple compression of the entire spine because you're bending at the hip slightly to uh, make up for the sorry no, the frontness of it because no, you're not you're not necessarily lent forward more in the zercher squat you're actually like you can you can stay more upright you get you would be getting more knee bend forward so you're actually bend you you're bending right. less unless you're doing a zercher straight off the floor then that's obviously a completely different story if, you, if we set you up on a zercher off the off the squat rack there, and you just go from a, I just feel like the setup for a zercher isn't good. Like yeah, hold, hold, holding a bar, no, just even like holding a bar here is not a good way to hold the bar, using your elbows as hooks. It's good, man. I think we need to just work on a bit of technique around that. I, I just don't like the technique, and it's not for everyone, by the way. Some people fucking hate it. You hate it. Which is I don't hate it. I just think that holding the bar on your forearms is 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 a limiting factor to it more than the legs. Yeah, you get used to that. And same with the fingertip thing. It's more yeah. of a limiting factor the than is, the legs. If you get used to those very, if you get used to it, it's obviously going to be uncomfortable to start with, but it's, I, I disagree. I think it's a great squat variation. It just take, It's painful, but you'll get used to it over time. And is the there another variation you can do that is front loading without the yeah, elbows? Yeah, you can do front squat with uh, straps. That was good, to be fair. You get the straps, or you can do the, the hands across the thing. Front with the straps was ideal. Front with the straps is, is really good, yeah. If you're not like, Olympic lifting. Olympic lifting is also very good. I'd like to teach you. Should something. we start some some snatches, not snatches, Power clean cleans. and jerks? Yeah, clean. yeah, we should actually do that. Oh fuck. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, I guess. I guess Bye guys. <laughs> I guess that. Mm, nah, mm, that's, mm. No, that's not looking good, is that? It's one sea turtle that will never see a day mm. living. Nah. Yeah. We, nah. Oh, that's awful. Better, we better leave it there. To be fair, that's a bit God. done, isn't it? Oh, we did forty-six minutes. No, we'll keep that's going. an intense shit. We're doing well. <laughs> People, fans will love this. We haven't done it for a while. Yeah, I'd love to start doing some clean jerks with you. To be fair. Yeah, let's do it. You can fucking jerk me off. God, yeah, I'd yeah. Love that. Then I clean it up afterwards, eh? Yeah. Oh, mm. boy. Yeah. Nah, I'll be all about that. Right. Okay. okay, okay nah, you okay, won't okay, get into okay, Miami okay. like that. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty right. Right wing there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, just <laughs> fair, <dude. laughs> right yeah, you're gonna love it. We're gonna bring some right wing fellas. <laughs> Big right wing guy. That's a personal joke. Sorry, guys. It's funny though. It's funny though. Trust um, me. How to know what you need to work on? When do you feel you need to work on everything? Tell us that. <laughs> Tell us that. <laughs> I thought, by the way, if you're wondering what that smell is. Right. Uh, how to know what to work on when you feel you need to work on everything. <laughs> I mean, this is a pathetic 
question, to be honest. Was it from Jacobson or? <laughs> no, it must have been a different Jacobson. Come on, give us your best. I mean, he's got a cat going. as his profile picture. Uh, right. If you feel your shit at everything, what to work on? Uh, maybe take some data and see what you're the most shit at. Record your rounds, find out what you're the most shit at, work accordingly. If you are equally shit everywhere, then just, just enjoy yourself. Don't worry about it. You just go in and sooner or later, even if you don't improve at something, you will get worse at other things. So over time, by elimination, you'll find what you're best and worst at. And then you can rank yourself in these certain skill areas. And then finally, you can start to work your best skill to a reasonable degree until you're satisfied. Once you get diminishing marginal returns, then you work on your last best skill bring it up to average and you keep doing that till all your skills are up to average and then you work your b skill and make it your a skill and then you maybe go back to some shit ones and bring them up to average and so on you know it's like a top trumps card you just keep up in the levels very slowly bit by bit until there's diminishing marginal gains fair play that was a good answer when's a good time to hit a knee lever when their knees on the floor and their head is starting to lean, I also like to do it when they, let's say a good a good time for me is, let's say I'm playing a, a half guard. I'm on my right side. Everyone's familiar. I try to scoop their leg or I try to scoop their arm with my right hand. They angle off to the side and they kind of move their head a little bit over their front leg. Bang, hit the knee lever. You don't have to hit the knee lever hard. It just has to be timed well. Most of the power from the knee lever is kinetic potential energy. Come on, gravitational potential energy from your partner's posture. Fuck and all you need hell. to do is tip them a little bit. And most of the time, the goal of a knee lever, for example, would be to make them post a hand to the floor and get weight. Sorry, the potential for them to drive weight off you off. So you do, e.g., I'm in half guard. I do a little knee lever and I know that all right, he's not going to fall, but he's just going to post his hand for a split second. Then I use that opportunity to get head position and come up into a butterfly guard. Potentially, if he really posted his hand, I get an underhook. Or could be knee lever into a butterfly sweep. Gordon did it to Davis Asari on some sparring. Watch it. Report back. Fucking hey. Thank you. Brilliant, mate. Really good. And also I'll use it, uh, for example... I'm playing like a half butterfly, but I'm just on one elbow at this point and I still have a bit of potential to fall back. Then you can fall back and knee leave it in really hard if you get control of the far wrist and maybe even take them over to their death. To their death. Yeah, it's a good move though. Uh, and defensively, you just got to be aware of it and keep your right knee off the floor. You know, there's, there's a specific time where you go from not chest to chest to chest to chest where you like sprawl on them or put weight down on them where you're very susceptible to a good time knee lever. So if, you don't, if you're just aware of that moment, you can get away with it. Fucking bit, mate, you're on fire mm -hmm. with good answers today, boss. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Has Charles ever tapped Owen? Ha! Actually, there was that like 15 times in a row. Do you remember that? That was good. That when, was a good day for me. Yeah, we did mount specifics and Charles just like S mount armbod me like 15 times. Yeah. Uh, as a joke and then he felt bad so he never did it, it again was cringe. It, it's just cringe to keep doing it that. was cringed if you just kept winning it's like all right mate like <laughs> yeah. is that fun like yeah you're you think, good, you think you're good or something yeah. it's kind of sad yeah. anyway I've, no, I've never come close um uh, i think you've been close on the back before but it's more that you don't know when you're close yeah you'll get Farris close says that, you know, but you won't know when you're close yeah Farris said the same thing <laughs> that you're close but you don't know yeah I'll, I'll get to a guard pass I'll be camping and he's like and I'll move and then he just fucking gets out yeah and I just, I've just lost the the whole position he's like yeah. what the fuck did you move for why why did you do that yeah do not redeem the vulture yeah the question is mate have you tapped me before <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> <laughs> would you rather tap Gordon Ryan or cure his AIDS tap do you think Gordon Ryan made Sonny sexually assault teenage Nicky Ryan? Yeah. Would Sam Pelly bubbles fix Gordon Ryan's stomach? Potentially. Actually, another thing I've noticed they about fixed, the Do you remember that podcast we did where I had to lie on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, they fixed my tummy. 
There you go. There you go. Uh, let me talk a bit more about the San Pelli bubbles. Right, okay. And it could be any bubbles, by the way, San Pelli, so you better be fucking nice to me. Just, just so you know, man. Just, yeah. just, stiff neck. just so you know, there's other waters I could drink. There's other gassy waters I could drink. Right. Just, just, saying. just so you know, right? I could start promoting other waters. Then we'll see whose comments you delete. Guys, Come. by the way, if you're still listening to this podcast, <laughs> like there must be only three <laughs> listeners at this point. You've got to get on the San Pelli page and start commenting. They ha- they've st- started deleting the comments, by the way. No way, have they've they? they started deleting the comments. No That's why I say it. No way. Uh, guys, guys, go to the Nestle headquarters. Find out the man who owns Nestle. Don't wear anything that, you know. <laughs> would be conspicuous. Yeah. And don't bring any, like, basically just be aware that you're speaking to the probably the most deadly man on earth, right? The man who owns Nestle. And then just ask him to sponsor me. Because Nestle owns San Pellegrino. There's no point asking the San Pelli guys. I think that's what they're hinting at, is they're owned by Nestle. I've still got comments on there. Yeah, but I think they delete some of them anyway. Wow. That's what oh, I was told. Oh, they have deleted some of them. What they the They deleted some fl- of yours, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting to him, hey. boys. <laughs> it's working. You know why? Because there's a Karen behind this particular Instagram account. I know of who she is. I've seen a photo of her. God. Have you, yeah? Yeah, I've seen her. She's a Karen, yeah. I'd hate her if I met her in real life. Yeah, but you hate her even though you haven't. That's how you know she's, a Karen. You know she's a Karen. So, yeah, the bubbles, basically, if you have cauliflower ear and your ears get blocked, or if you go on flights a lot and your ears get blocked, or if you have a slightly blocked nose, all these airways get opened up by the bubbles. Trust me, fam. Sometimes you drink a bit, you know, you go to burp, and instead of burping, you know, obviously you burp out your mouth, but prior to that, the pressure opens your ears up, and it's like when you do the That's what's good, that thing that yeah, you know that one. It's literally like doing it. that, but by drinking. Oh, that felt good. All right, let's let's bang off these couple last ones. Oh, um, off, what's your opinion on isometric training for jiu-jitsu? How often, when? What's no, important done to start? That. Done that. That. We've done that. Go check out Jake Tura. It's more important for um, injury rehab. Again, Jake Tura is your man. He has everything you need to know about isometrics on there. Right. Next question. K guard options, mate. Just is that the question? K guard options. There's many. Uh, <laughs> what do you like to do? I like to use the K guard to threaten triangles, arm bars, and attack the K guard. That's it. I think the biggest option from K guard is just getting to outside Ashi or 50 50. An often forgotten move is just use the K guard to get to the legs. Best nogi guards to focus on. A lot of people throw shade at RDLR. Is it a waste of time to focus on? I would say that all the guards that you are supine should be counted on as secondary guards. And the main guard that you should play as a jiu-jitsu guard player is a seated guard where you're able to use chin on chin, butterfly, momentum from being curled up in a ball and rocking backwards and wrestling up. You're not able to wrestle up from a supine position because you have to either come to your knees, which is turtle, or you have to first go seated, which is seated, which we want to be in anyway, ideally. So, new goal. Anyway, what I've been doing for a while now, after I stopped doing the north-south stuff, I feel like marginal, diminishing marginal turns on the north-south. I'm going seated now, and I'm doing a Marcelo, and I'm staying up. We've got the same hair. He's probably got a bit more hair than me now, but we look the same, me and Marcelo. Yeah. We, I don't have his calves, but maybe... You do look similar, to be fair. We yeah. do have a very similar look, me and Marcelo. Shout out. When I saw him in real life, he was shocked. Yeah. Nah, he didn't say anything. No, he didn't say anything. Right, okay, let's go out. But yeah, seated. Trust me, fam. Uh, RDLR is good, but it's only a little piece of the puzzle, right? What you really want is a good connection between seated and supine guards. So you're able to connect your RDLR and sit up. If there's ever any space, let's give an example. I'm playing guard. Some guy's just kind of chilling and I'm just kind of chilling. And there's a lot of space between our heads. I just put my head between that space and start to sit up to butterfly guard. And now I'm in a shin to shin or butterfly and I can enter the legs much easier. Fucking sick. Sick. I'm How to treat so tennis Ill. elbow from lifting slash jiu-jitsu and what exercises make it better. This has been worse. answered for sure. So I've got a, on my page, fixing grappler's elbow. You need to go to my Instagram and you'll need to scroll down where it says fixing grappler, grappler's elbow. On top of that, you need to make sure that your hand can pronate and supinate properly and make sure you can do that ulnar deviation stuff. Um, but if you look at that post, that is pretty good. I'd also recommend going to see a physiotherapist, get some soft tissue work done around the mm. elbow joint, uh, and that is going to be key. Right, that's all the questions done. We've had a fucking good podcast. Should we leave it there? Great to see you. Great to see you. Great this week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I could leg lock Relax. you from here. Look at that. See that That hook. feels awful, mate. That that hook Do you guys see there. that on the camera? That hook I've got there. That hook I've got there. That hook I've got there. 
Guys, remember, if you've made it this far, you better fucking like and subscribe. Don't turn off 50. just yet because you got to buy Owen's Seven. Instructionals. Three oh, instructionals yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to do another one? I think I've got four, mate. You've got four. You've got Sloppy four seconds. instructionals. COVID, something about entering something. Yeah. And the last Three. one is outside heel hooks. Wow. Downright sloppy half guard. Sloppy seconds. Fuck, COVID, there's COVID, one more COVID, in between. COVID. Leg locks the UK variant and... Mate, you got three of them. You only got three of them. No, there is. There's countering the outside passer. There you go. There's sloppy seconds, downright sloppy, and then there's COVID. downright sloppy outside heel hooks and the COVID one. There you go. Right. All right. Go purchase them now. 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 Or, or pirate, them. pirate them and send me the money directly. Yeah. That's even better. That's even better. That's, that's even, even better because then I get all the money. Yeah. Patreon? Just message me, guys. You need to get back on the Patreon, boss. You need to I have a Patreon. That. I have a Patreon. Advertise that. But advertise that. Advertise it. Advertise it every day. Yeah, it's just because whilst I was for the last, I missed two weeks of Patreon, but then I re-uploaded. I actually uploaded six videos, so I gave a little bonus because I missed two. I missed two video, four videos for the previous two weeks. Now we're back. I have another bullshit move that I'm going to upload on the Patreon. You're going to love it. It's a gator roll oh, from yeah. Seated Guard. Oh, is that when you get the figure four, yeah? Yeah, I've got the the details and I'll show the examples and then you will use it and you'll thank me. It's good sweep. Swepe. Guys, Swepe. remember, like, subscribe. Shreps. Do that now. Okay. And we'll now. see you later. And the, wait, you're going away next week. You're going away I'm going place. this weekend and then 19th to 22nd, I'll right. be away. You're here next week? Thursday? Yeah. Right. See you later, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Catch you later, Char. Yeah, I, good day. I yeah. do that now. What you Oh, see you later, boss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>